Good morning, YouTube family. I'm looking rough and tough, but you know what? We're just getting up. I was going to do like a little get ready with me. I've never done one of these. This is what it looks like. I just washed my hair. And then these are my pajamas. I got these at Target like a year ago. They fit me way better now than they did before. But I thought we'd do like a little get ready with me. It is Sunday. But today we're taking Malachi to his first hockey game. Um, I'm not going to make this like a vlog or nothing like that. By the way, I'm starting with my skin aesthetics. This is actually from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Either one. But it's pretty much hyaluronic with collagen. So I'm going to moisturize my skin with this. I do have a video coming up soon with my skincare. Because I don't buy anything crazy that's not um, approved in the UCAP. But anyways, I thought we'd do like a little chit chat, get ready, you can see a little bit of me getting glammed up. It's a soft glam today because it is a hockey game, but I want to look good because, you know, it's my son's first live hockey game. By the way, my son, I haven't really updated you guys in my personal life, but I do have a little hockey player now. And it's so crazy because I never wanted to be one of those parents who force their kids, like some dads only have one son or some, some dads have, you know, parents have you know so many children and it's just like oh right away they go wonder what they're gonna play in sports or whatever i don't want to push that on him you know what i mean because not every kid is going to be into sports some kids are into music some kids are into drawing some kids are into building culinary um some are just not there and they just you know they just want to be to themselves like every kid's different so you know i'm just excited he just finished the season yesterday they lost but just so proud of him. I don't feel comfortable showing him on the internet, so you really won't see him on YouTube. But you know, I am a proud hockey mom. I'm also gonna go into next with my rose hip oil. You can get this at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. It actually ranks very well in the Yuka app. But yeah, so anyways, I think my skin, to be honest, ever since I changed a lot of my diet. Well, actually, the light's not the best right now. Let me put this on a little bit better. This is my Hello Kitty light. Doesn't look terrible for my age and where my skin's at i'm not mad at it because it was worse before but anyways i wanted to talk a little bit today about pretty much breaking generational curses but something that i really really want to do because this is something my husband and i totally relate on is giving our child pretty much the opposite of what we didn't have and it doesn't mean like spoil them that's not what i'm talking about but there's two things I do want to talk about today, just briefly, just to kind of touch base on. I feel like doing a smoky eye, so I'm going to use my Naked palette. I'm not an all-star, crazy, perfect makeup girly. I put eyeshadow on like this with my brushes, so just go with me. But anyways, with everything being so expensive, and I know there's some parents, like I remember I put something up on TikTok and some people are like, oh, it must be nice to have that kind of extra money where you can have your kids do certain things. I'm going to tell you this right now. Um, extra money is not there like that. But when you see your kid thriving in something where you see the heart and the talent and the passion, I'm going to do what I got to do to make sure I get him on that rank. Get him the equipment he needs. You know, it's like, I mean, taking it back, let's take it way, way back. Like for me, like I used to watch uh, Family Matters. I remember if you watch this episode, Rachel, um, which is Harriet's sister, she had a son, and she ended up, uh, her son ended up wanting something, I forget what it was, and she ended up buying this dress for herself, and make a long story short, she ended up uh, returning the dress so she can get her son the equipment, I think it was for basketball or something, and now hockey is one of the most expensive sports, it is a very expensive sport. But if I'm one of these females, like, I'm grateful to be where I'm at. My husband and I were talking about this financially. We know our parents didn't have the money like this either. But if I had to sell one of those purses back there, if I had to sell something to get my son the equipment, I would do it. My husband and I, my husband too, he's just like, we had a, you know, if I had to work an extra shift, whatever the case is, we will do it. Because I know there's some kids, like, I'm pretty sure too, you guys will hear, like, there's some kids that, that are or parents that are just... They're so adamant about their kids playing sports, but like they're just doing it. You know, but we when you see something in your child and even the coach is like, hey, we recommend him do these type of practices. They have them on these days or whoop, 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 whoop. 
it's kind of like nah like this is this is god talking to other people like we will do so and i even tell my son too like if you want to play and you want to be better that means on your days off during the week you need to practice you need to practice so like even like right now it's gloomy i would put him on the treadmill you know um when there is sun outside and it's nice outside guess what we are practicing i remember when i wanted to become a cheerleader and I remember when I first got denied, that's a whole different story. It was so, so crazy funny looking back now because now the head cheerleader, <laughs> she follows me so on Instagram and we should, well, I was on the team with her, but like her own sister was just like, Adri is not pretty enough to be on the team. She's not in shape. She's not this. And now looking at my physique now in my late thirties and looking at them, it's just like, oh my gosh, Adri, like, what are you doing? What are you eating? Like, I'm telling you what goes around comes around doesn't matter it might take some years but it the people do be coming back it's crazy because like i was talking about this too with my cousin recently so like me and my cousin we are pretty much the black sheep of the family and i'm just gonna say it and i don't want to make like a separate video of this too but just like deadbeat grandparents is a real thing like it's a real real thing like right now her son just literally has surgery on his ears because he's having issues um breathing by the way, I should have finished, did my eyes first and then do this. But you know what? I haven't eaten much yet this morning. I'm dehydrated. So we're just going to just go with me. It'll look nice. I promise. I'm going to get my makeup because you're probably like, what is she doing? <laughs> I was talking about this with my cousin recently. And she was just like, I swear, like, our parents are so narcissistic and, like, so, like, they show, like, who their favorites are. And I'm like, girl, yes. <laughs> And not everybody's going to understand that. But clearly, like, you can see the way, like, my child's been treated. And my mom does try. I will give her this. She will try. But my mom is one of those people that likes to kind of, like, push the Disney on my son. And my son's not a hardcore Disney kid. You know what I mean? I don't push that on him, that type of narrative. I just feel like I let him be him, you know? Like, a couple years ago, he was hard going to mario now he's like into pokemon my cousin and i were talking my cousin and i were talking and she's just like dude i had a because she's gonna be going back into like medical school and she was telling me how you know she's gonna need some help i knew she's also going through a divorce she needs to go through a divorce because that's a whole nother achievement her do you know what her baby daddy's already acting like he's just like oh if you're gonna go to school to be this he's already calculating how much money she's gonna bring in so he can bring her for child support and spouse support if that's not bitch assness, like, I don't know what is. And she's just like, I just feel like I'm just trapped. Her parents also like him more than they like her. Baffles. I know. It's like the few people that are close to me. And I'm like, if I were to get divorced tomorrow, there's no way in hell I would ever go back home. I'd rather live in an apartment and move, move to a different state. I will live in a freaking RV. I would, I will not go back home ever. Because you know what? That's not home to me. That's not home to me. Have my mom and I rebuilt a lot of our relationship and gotten better? Yeah, we have. Is there still, there's an understanding. But at the same time too, like my mom came the other day and she came. And my mom only see her maybe a couple times a month. And again, that's just what it is. And my mom still works. But it's like also too, I don't like to force something that's not natural. Like I love my, my mom, but I also know my place. You know what I mean? But I told my cousin recently and I... I had a conversation like this with my husband. I was like, if it came to me, possibly, I'm not saying like adopt her child, but like being like primarily like taking care of him because she's going back to school. She's trying to go back to school in the fall. I told her I would. I'll be homeschooling my son. I'm not going to be doing any type of show preps or anything like that that I know of right now. You know what I mean? So like I'm more than happy to help her any type of way. And she got like super emotional. She was just like, dude, like this is something like my, my parents can help me because they live so much closer and you live farther than me and i'm like i know it'd be an adjustment but when you have dreams and aspirations like you gotta fight and want to do them more than trusting anybody to help you and that's just what it is it's like your child didn't get asked to be put in this situation but same time too it's like mommy has a dream too and you shouldn't have to wait 10 years to fulfill that dream you get me and then i'm going in with the um what is it sai super clean you guys too that's why i like it i've switched to like a lot of my makeup literally it's i want to say maybe about 90 percent clean 90 percent and i've been loving it 
I've been seeing a difference in my skin just switching to more cleaner products. So, anyway, so I told that to her and she was just meditating on it. I go, you know, if they ended up coming through with you with the school and you can, you know, you can get in and you can start. Because I pretty much think she needs like help like Friday and Saturdays because those are the long days. And plus she still works at the hospital. So I was like, I can have your son Thursday through like Saturday and you can come pick him up Saturday afternoons. We can make that a thing. You know what I mean? I can do some school with him or whatever. However we got to do it, you know? Um, she's even thought about like, we've even thought about too. I was like, if he has to come to school out here with me and go to school, like live with me Monday through Friday primarily, we'll make it work. So she was just like, out of like, like, are you serious? Like you would do this for me? I was just like, yeah, because I see, and not only that too, like I have other goals too and I don't want to talk about them on here things that I'm working on and that we're working on as a family I don't even want to tell certain people even though like I talk to certain people but whatever you have to do to elevate to get to the next level so be it because I feel like right now these next two years in particular I told her like this is your time like I'm right here I might be an hour from here but like I'm right here and I can honestly say I think we're more down for each other than our own actual like like her siblings and stuff like oh my gosh and that's a whole nother thing too then we put some Conchita blush. I haven't bought makeup or like blush like this in a while, but I saw this one on TikTok and it really suckered me in. I love the colors. So tell me you're the favorite without telling me you're the favorite. Okay. And I want to talk real quick. I don't care what anybody says because there's going to be some triggers probably. But there are favorite and there are deadbeat grandparents. A hundred percent. And for me, I can honestly say my dad's a deadbeat grandparent to my child. And if they were to see this video or if he were to see it, probably he'd probably be like, I'm full of shit. But I have my own truth. And that's something, too. I feel like our parents can be delusional. Not all, but I just feel like some could be delusional. Just like, oh, no, that didn't happen. And I'm going to talk about some other needy, greedy things that people can relate to because I get a lot of comments back on TikTok. Like, I remember when I told my dad I wanted to go to college, my parents, and, um... You know, I know everybody has different dreams and aspirations. And I was like, I really want to go to school. I remember when I wanted to go to school and I told him. Mind you, obviously, as at the time, this was back 2004 or 5, I was like, you know, I'm going to need help financially. You know, at the time I was making 675 selling shoes at Baker's. Economy was totally different then. Over what? <laughs> what, damn near 20 years ago now, you know? And I remember my dad literally gave me $400 and he was just like, here, good luck. But my sister got pregnant, and granted, she got pregnant, she had a baby. I can tell you just to this day right now, my nephew's about to be 18. Still helps her with whatever it is that she needs, you know? Yes, she helps him too, but, like, I've just chose not to have a relationship with him. I know it looks kind of crazy, but we're going to do my hair now. And I'll put my hair half up, half down, because it looks like... It looks like a bird, like, took a shit in it, so let's put the hair up. My Hello Kitty of just random clips by the way a lot of my clips i buy at the swap meet because i'm not paying no six dollars for like three aesthetic clips so i have all my clips in here headbands like when i'm putting my hair up or whatever extensions wig so yeah anyways i was talking about this with my cousin i was just like hey did you tell your parents about you going back to medical school blah 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 they don't want nothing to do with her they don't even want to help her they're just like oh well that's your son see if uh your husband's father Oh, your husband's parents can step in and help or whatever the case is. And you know, let's be real too. Sometimes you'll grab the grandparents, they'll watch your kids, but they don't have the best intention with your children because it's like, for me, like there's certain things I don't allow. Like I don't allow my son to eat McDonald's. I don't allow him to consume certain things. Now, if we go to like a kid's party and there's an event and there's certain things there, if we go to a restaurant and there's like ketchup and fries, okay, yeah, I'll have them have that, you know, but everything in my house is, it's either dairy-free besides my egg, toast and corn syrup, there's no... Um, there's just no certain things. I don't buy full sugar sodas. You know what I mean? Everything is pretty much replaced. I mean, I do have some dirty snacks here. Like, he loves his Cheez-Its. He loves his, um, he loves his Cheez-Its. He loves his Oreo cookies. You know, in moderation, but I also find replacements. And I switch them and I put them in glass jars. Because as long as he sees it in a jar, he has no idea. And I'm not a perfect parent, but, like, I'm just really mindful. We live in a time, too, where, let's be real, like, food that we eat here in America, it is not approved in other countries, you know, but FDA will approve all of X, Y, and Z. So I have a certain lifestyle for him, and I can't tell you how many times when he was younger, my mom would be like, oh, you know, let me take Malachi. She would try to take him or, like, you know, 
watch him for some time but it's like i brush his teeth i do certain things i don't use no fluoride you know and my sister's just very just like oh you know i had evan and evan's fine and i'm just like it doesn't matter just because you're a mother before me doesn't make you better i know that you were a mother at 16 years old 16 years old i was still doing my homework i'm not dissing you had your baby but it's just like don't try to come at me like you're better and you struggled because my sister will put out the whole like i'm a boss i'm this i'm that but yeah but you still have mom and dad to help you once i left the house for me at 24 i never went back so my shit can go collapse tomorrow you think i'll go back and reach out to them no i'm gonna figure it out and do it by myself whatever it is i gotta do and i have a lot of love for single mothers i have a lot of love for single mothers you know and i see especially in this economy it is no joke it is no joke so when i see a single mother or i'm at the store i remember one day i was at the store too and i saw this girl this woman she had like four kids i don't know if she was single or not but she looked like she was about to cry i remember i went up to her go hi you don't know me but i just want you to know like you're doing an amazing job and she looked at me just like like she looked so relieved and i was just like look i i just felt like maybe it was maybe it was god in my heart coming to tell you like i just want to let you know like you're doing an amazing job with your children i know it's a lot but you're nobody's gonna love them better than you she literally gave me a hug in the middle of the produce aisle. You just don't know what people are going through. So like, I just can't stand the behavior when it comes to, and it's in every family. Please don't try to make it seem like, like oh, that does not happen. It does. It does. It's just that some people choose to talk about it and some don't. But it is true. Even my mom, I called her out on it. I was just like, please, I go, you don't even know what it's like to feel what I'm feeling in my personal struggles because you had your mom and dad there. You left my sister and I a lot at grandma and grandpa's house while you were working in a whole different county. And that's okay. But take some accountability. You know what I mean? Like, and that's the thing. I don't want to be anything like my parents. Do I love my parents? Yes. Do I agree with them? No. Are there things I wish they did better with me? Yes. But it's about breaking those generational curses and doing better for your children as you move forward. You know, it's not holding that whole poor me, pick me, should like playing the victim. Like, no, that doesn't work that's not what it's about you need to actually want to be better and show better for yourself you know you would have asked me this years ago about the dynamic of my family i probably would have honestly sugarcoated it and lied just to like you know feel like i need to just accept my place and you know just take the disrespect and you know just there's no boundaries because that's your mom and dad um no I don't think my mental would be great right now. So I'm really proud of how much I personally chose to elevate. And I always tell people it's a choice. You know, I, I don't understand too. Like, like there's some younger people around me, like just when I'm out and people that I know, more acquainted with, I wouldn't really call them friends. But like, the, I, I noticed specifically in this generation, too many young people are involved with their parents. And what I mean by that is they're too involved with the drama. Like my parents' drama, divorce, the messiness like what they went through i feel like that's between them you know what i'm saying like i didn't marry my parents like i'm the daughter but i'm also too like my sister my sister's very like chismosa very involved my my sister will take a quick to be right there to like stand up for my dad but my dad also treated me very differently you know what i mean and as you get older and you're healing from those traumas and just things that just didn't resonate with you and how you project your character because i'll be real i'm one of those girls who did have severe daddy issues and i still get triggers to now even though like i'm almost 40 it's just i still feel those little triggers i always tell people own the emotion accept the emotion go through the emotion but you need to move forward from it you know what i mean what and i always tell people too, like do what's best for you why do you think i do these resets and i take a step back or i get off social media because there's just so much distraction and chaos like sometimes you have to recenter with yourself and block out the chaos you know for me i personally don't make effort to go to certain relatives house for christmas i don't even go to my own mother-in-law's for christmas eve because i don't feel comfortable with i feel like i shouldn't have to walk in but i have to be guarded when i go in there and it shouldn't be like that and there's a lot of this there's a lot of this everywhere and i feel like with my family they know like i'm not gonna be no punk and i'm gonna you know i'm gonna say what i want i'm expressive and when it's so and what's What's insane though now to me is I look at the woman that I am and it's like I was so quiet as a little girl. Like I wasn't encouraged to speak my mind and be myself. 
anything like that because it was just like you just be quiet be quiet nobody really cares there was a lot of like swept under the rug we don't talk about our feelings we don't do x y and z and i feel like all of that in my 20s just came out it just came out and i was like I, it was like i was just like a wild bandit you know what i mean i was just reckless ruthless there was no filter i became just more like and then when i got my boobs in at 23 pff, i just lost it Anyways, um, I'm going to finish this up, you guys. I just wanted to touch on just this, like, little stuff that's just been kind of circling in my personal life. And to anybody out there who struggles with family dynamic and just, there's just so much of it. And when I see these videos, there's, like, thousands of people liking them and sharing them. It's just, like, it's, it's so much more common than I feel like than we'll ever talk about. But I love the fact, like, especially, like, on TikTok, we can be openly and expressive and we could share that. Because you should be able to express. It's like me. I My YouTube is like my personal diary. If one person comes across this video and they're just like, yo, I've been feeling this type of way. And the fact that she said it makes me feel great that I'm not alone. That's what matters to me. That's what matters to me. You can still have dreams and aspirations and live a way where other people are not going to agree with and have boundaries for yourself because it protects your peace and doesn't trigger your personal anxiety. Then do it. And I feel like that's why for me, it took some time, but like I don't take no BS when it comes to my family. And I haven't filmed a video like this, maybe if you want an update, but like I went eight years without talking to my sister. That's how toxic it was. And to this day, my sister still does not, my sister is like my dad. They deflect, they sweep under the rug, and they won't talk about it. It's like, oh no, that didn't happen, or whatever the case is, it's like, no. But it's not, but at the same time, too, for me, like, I'm not going to hold a grudge. It's just that I'm just going to know my place. And then I got to a place where we just started talking and being cool. But, like, we don't hang out with each other. We don't go out to eat with each other. We don't do, we, we just don't. There's just things that we just don't align with. But can we coexist and be cool and cordial? Yeah. But my sister also, she's one of those people. And I'm going to make a separate video about this, too, because I've made one like this about friends on social media, especially on TikTok. But, like... When they start out icing you out in front of everybody, like when I competed last year, I clearly lost a lot of weight. My body fat's the lowest that it's ever been. And for me, 18% was a big deal because your girl's always been, you know, 60 plus. You know, it's like they still had negative comments to say. It's like, oh, she probably took so many steroids. Oh my gosh, she probably just ate nothing but chicken and eggs. I could never do that. And going this long without sweets, like you don't even know what I did. You don't even know what I did. You don't even know how I ate. You know, and at the end of the day, the way I changed my lifestyle with the way I ate during the bodybuilding prep, it kind of created a discipline for myself with consuming moderation because I was overindulging and it was unhealthy. I don't want to be diabetic at 30 years old. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to be struggling with certain health conditions when I could prevent and work on that with my food. You know, like right now, before I film this video, I, because we're going to leave soon. I'm going to show you like what I'm going to wear. But like I always start my day with a bottle of water and I did 200 grams right now of egg whites just to kind of fill my body. But I'm going to eat something again before I leave, leave, probably in the car. You know, but it's about, life's about moderation. And I choose to exercise. Like today, I'm going to be honest, yesterday I felt like death. But I'm like, you know what, tomorrow, today when I get back, I'm going to do an hour of cardio this evening. Doesn't matter what I do, but I got to get my steps in. By the way, a little tip too, if you are trying to lose and you want to get betterly conditioned, you're like, what do I start? Anything over a 6.0 incline with a 3.0 speed is fat burning. Get that in with your steps. Walk on an incline at a steady pace. I'm telling you, and then you do that every day, you're going to see a difference, bestie. But I'm going to finish getting myself together, put my outfit on so we can close this video. And I'll show you the final product of what it looks like. I was looking so crazy this morning. <laughs>